Hi everyone, Olga Job here, your Certified Wellness Consultant. Hi, my name is Eliana, Certified Personal Trainer. Today we're going to make some delicious food for Easter. And one of the most popular things to do on Easter is brunch. So Olga, what are we making today? I know, right? Usually we eat a lot of bread, but today I want to show you guys an alternative to bread. And as you see here, this is the end result of our delicious sweet potato toast that we're going to make in the oven. Ooh, okay. tell so, me more. Yeah, right? And as you see, there is a lot of crunchiness to it. So we have a balance of complex carbohydrates as well as a little extra protein with the macadamia nuts and the sesame seeds all found at Fondant Twig. Now, did you know that sweet potato and all of the orange pigments helps the body convert that into vitamin A, which is good for the vision, for the nails, for the immune system. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to show everyone the steps on how to make our delicious sweet potato toast. So our first step is to start adding the avocado oil to our tray. We're going to start by cutting our sweet potato toast in long slices. Once our sweet potato is on the tray, we're gonna add some extra avocado oil. Olive oil is great too, but avocado oil goes very well with heat. And plus we get the additional extra nutrients from a real avocado. Yes. What is the next step? Well, we're gonna add salt and pepper. Ooh. Ready? I'll put some pepper, you can add some salt. I'm ready for Easter. Yes, so. <laughs> are you ready for Easter brunch? <laughs> I'm sure you are. With I'm this ready. delicious meal that you're gonna make for Easter. Yes. Pure. <laughs> so now we're gonna add our sweet potato to the oven at 225 Celsius for about 20 minutes. One idea to add on our sweet potato toast is hummus. Today we're gonna make three different kinds of hummus. The regular hummus with avocado and cilantro, and then we have a red beet hummus. So Olga, will you show us how to make this hummus? Yes, I'm excited because you can make three things in one. And basically we're going to start off with the basis of our hummus. So chickpeas, here at Van den Tweel, we can find the original tahini from Turkey. Along with that, we're going to be using the organic olive oil that is extra virgin and it's in a glass bottle and in a dark bottle, which means that the olive oil is not oxidized. It's more fresh than normal other types of olive oil. So perfect product also to add to our hummus. So we're going to start by adding a basis of chickpeas. So we're going to be adding the tahini. It's about one and two, two tablespoon of tahini. And then we're gonna add a little bit of lemon. And I already diced a little piece of garlic. I recommend starting small because we don't wanna overdo the garlic. So I start small and we can always add more based on what we feel. Also salt and pepper. We can always add more at the end. And a little bit of our organic extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> And Ariana, do you know my secret ingredient? Tell me, what's your secret ingredient? Adding ice when you're blending your hummus because it will make it creamier and thicker. One of the reasons I like hummus is because it's high in protein. What other benefits does hummus have? Well, besides protein that we need during Easter, it's also high in omega fatty acids and complex carbohydrates. Plus, it's an anti-inflammatory food. So great to add Amazing. and it's easy to make as well. So our hummus is ready and blended. We're gonna set aside one third for our regular hummus. Now we're going to make the second part of the hummus, which is natural, fresh, Cilantro, as you can see at Van den Tweel, they have it in a plant, which means there is more nutrients because it's still with its soil. So we're going to add about a handful of washed or pre-washed uh, cilantro and we're going to cut a Hess avocado. We're going to add half of a Hess avocado. 
gonna add about half of what we're seeing here. And as you see, it's creamy, it's thick. It has a natural green pastel colors from the avocado and from the cilantro. And it can use, be used as a dip. But we're gonna be adding this to our sweet potato toast. Next up for our third hummus dip, to keep the Easter colors alive, we're gonna add some red beet. Yes, and red beet adds the natural color to the Easter festivities which is high in iron, great for the heart health, and also has a lot of energy and antioxidants. So first, we're gonna start with the natural coloring of the red beet, and I just like to add the entire thing in there. Yes. So now we're going to be scraping our blend to make sure that we have an equal amount of the cilantro versus the beets. Now we're going to decorate our hummus and the first thing we're going to do is add some olive oil. Now we're going to garnish our hummus. On our avocado cilantro hummus, we're going to add some cilantro on top of it. And to the regular one, we're just going to add a little bit of paprika to add a little bit of more colors. And on our red beet hummus, we're going to add some sesame seed. Now that we have three hummuses ready for our Easter brunch, now we're going to check back on, on our sweet potato toast so that we can add these on top. <sighs> right now, we're gonna add some extra pepper on top and as well as a little bit of sesame seed. Sprinkle it all over. And the sesame seed is going to add additional omega fatty acids, that crunchiness that we want mixed with the sweetness and the softness and the crunchiness of the sweet potato. And I love to add extra nuts for extra what? Protein. Oh, protein. Yes, yes. And so we're gonna add already crushed macadamia from the Albert Heijn brand at Fondant Twail. And if you don't like sweet potato, you can change it to a regular potato and do the same technique. Or you can use cassava, you can use yuca, which is cassava, but any type of natural greens. That's what we're looking for. And just skip the processed flour bread. And now for the best part. We're gonna spread our hummus that we just made on top of our sweet potato. So our Easter brunch, we cannot miss our bottomless mimosas. And since we are drinking, we might as well add more superfoods and super nutrients, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's start. The first thing that we're gonna do is smash our fruits. We have raspberries here. Smash it. To our beet orange mimosas, we're also adding fresh strawberries. We're gonna take away this part and add our strawberries into our raspberry. We're gonna smash everything together. To our beet orange mimosa, we're going to add the liquid of our beets, which is going to add extra iron to our drink. We might as well add more nutrients. Instead of using processed sugars, we wanna add natural fructose like honey, which we found at Fondant Twail, organic honey and organic honey cream. We're going to be adding freshly squeezed orange juice, freshly squeezed at fondant twail, which means more freshness, and it's all about fresh, living foods. Ariana, I found Brut Cava organic at fondant twail. I've never heard of that. Organic means less insecticides, less pesticides, or just generally organic, natural. Ooh, the bubbles! bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. 